Former GMTV host Fiona Phillips will reportedly allow cameras to follow her as part of an ITV documentary amid her Alzheimer's battle. Filming for the special documentary will start later this year and it will show how the mother of two is dealing with the physical and emotional tolls of the disease. It will also focus on the hope she has as she participates in a groundbreaking drug trial, according to The Mirror. I want to go out and I want to work, Fiona told the publication earlier this month after making news of her diagnosis public. I've just got to get on with it. I mean, what's the alternative, to lie down and give up? First sign of incurable disease could be spotted whilst driving, latest, express. Co.uk has contacted ITV for comment on the documentary. The presenter is taking part in a drugs trial which scientists hope could possibly reverse the illness for sufferers. People have been so kind to me, Fiona said of the reaction she has received. I was anxious people would be staring or whispering about me or would just write me off as a batty old woman. But there has been incredible kindness. She added, this disease has ravaged my family and now it has come for me. Don't miss. Fiona Phillips feared sharing diagnosis would write her off as batty old woman, update, Kate Garraway emotional as she recalls last conversation with Fiona Phillips, insight, Barbara Windsor's widow looking for dementia cure as Fiona Phillips diagnosed, latest, and all over the country there are people of all different ages whose lives are being affected by it, it's heartbreaking. Fiona has known about her illness for the past 18 months but only decided to speak about the news recently. Many celebrities have paid heartfelt tributes to Fiona, including her former co-star Eamon Holmes. Speaking to his GB News co-host Isabel Webster, Eamon said, she always feared it, because her mother had it and her father had it. She always did fear that it would come after her and sadly that has been the case. Isabel added, so young, I texted you as soon as I saw that this morning because she talks so much about it as you say and I think even her uncle had it. Her family has been ravaged by this disease but she always thought she could hopefully get to 80 or something, 62 is no age at all. She added, I think she always suspected she would get it, but not at 62. We send her our best wishes. Good Morning Britain host Susanna Reid also paid tribute to Fiona, telling ITV viewers, we all know and love her, she's also been an incredible advocate for families living with Alzheimer's.